Hi, I'm Joe from Wacom, and today I'm going to show you some tips on customizing your bamboo craft. Once you have your tablet properly installed on your computer or laptop, you can adjust a number of preferences to help you work faster and more comfortably. To get started, let's open the tablet's control panel. If you're working on a PC, go to Start, All Programs, Bamboo, and choose Bamboo Properties. If you downloaded your driver from the web, then it will be under Programs, Pen Tablet, Pen Tablet Properties. If you're on a Mac, go to your Apple menu, System Preferences, Bamboo. Or, if you downloaded your driver from the web, it will be under Apple menu, System Preferences, Pen Tablet. Now that you've opened your control panel, let's explore your options. This is the Bamboo control panel. Here you'll see five tabs, the Pen tab, Tablet tab, Touch Speed tab, Touch Functions tab, and the Pop-up menu tab. Let's take a closer look at these tabs. The first tab you'll see is the Pen tab. Here you can make adjustments to your pen settings. You'll see that you can easily customize the two buttons on your pen to assign shortcuts to commonly used functions. You'll also see an adjustment for tip feel, which allows you to change how sensitive your tip feels on the tablet surface. For a lighter touch, drag the slider toward the soft setting. Below this, you'll see a slider for double-click distance, which measures how physically close your first and second tap need to be for the tablet to register a double-click. By sliding the scale toward big, you increase the radius and make the double-clicking with your pen tip easier. You'll also notice a click sound checkbox. This allows you to toggle sound on and off when your pen issues a mouse click. Finally, you'll notice a section for tracking. Tracking allows you to choose between two modes, pen mode and mouse mode. In pen mode, the cursor does what I showed you. It maps each point on the tablet to a corresponding place on screen. This is called absolute mode. In mouse mode, the cursor moves with a pick up and slide motion, which is similar to how your mouse moves. This is called relative positioning, meaning that the pointer moves relative to its last location on screen. Your pen defaults to pen mode, and I recommend leaving it here for a few days to get used to how it works. The pen is most effective when it becomes muscle memory, meaning your hand instinctively moves where it needs to be. On the control panel, you'll also see the default button in the lower corner of the tab. By pressing this, all the settings on that tab revert back to the factory default settings. The second tab in the Bamboo control panel is called Tablet. This tab allows you to adjust settings that apply to the entire tablet. Choose the correct tablet orientation so it corresponds to your dominant hand, whether left or right. Below this, you'll see a diagram of the express keys, which correspond to the four buttons on your Bamboo. Each of these will have a corresponding drop-down menu that allows you to assign a number of settings. You'll want to program the functions you use most frequently into your express keys. For example, I've programmed one key to open my email. And I've programmed another to minimize all my programs and return to a clear desktop. Play around with these settings and you'll see how they can help you. The third tab in the control panel is the touch speed tab. This tab allows you to adjust the feel of the touch function on your tablet. Pointer speed controls how fast the cursor moves across the monitor. Double tap time controls the duration of time that your tablet reads between each tap in a double tap function. Scrolling speed adjusts the speed of the scroll of a document or website when you use the scroll gesture. And finally, pointer acceleration affects the response speed of your cursor in relation to your hand movement. The fourth tab in the control panel is called Touch Functions. This tab gives you more instruction on the different multi-touch gestures available with Bamboo. The final tab in your control panel for Bamboo is called Pop-Up Menu. This tab allows you to set up a custom pop-up menu, which you can access by pressing a button on your pen. The pop-up menu is helpful because you can set up unique functions to appear here. For example, I'm going to program Undo into my pop-up menu. Also, I'll program Open Firefox into it. Now let's see what happens. Once I close my control panel, I can click on the button in my pen and see the pop-up menu and these two custom settings. So that's about it for getting set up on your bamboo. Don't be afraid to play around with these settings to see how they can help you. 
If you have more questions, check out our other videos at Wacom.com. <laughs>